Tesla just dropped details on a $22,000 EV nobody expected, and it's designed specifically for seniors. While everyone chased the Model 3 and Cybertruck hype, Tesla secretly perfected a modular assembly line that slashes production time from 14 hours to just 7, cutting costs by $6,000 per car. This isn't some stripped-down budget model. We're talking 410-kilometer range, door openings 30% wider than competitors, and autopilot calibrated for slower reaction times. But here's what's truly shocking. Could targeting the 65-plus demographic become Tesla's smartest move yet? Let's dive right in. Let's address the elephant in the room. Why would Tesla, the brand synonymous with cutting-edge performance and tech-obsessed millennials, suddenly pivot to designing cars for grandparents? The answer is brutally simple. It's the most underserved demographic with the deepest pockets. While every EV manufacturer fights over the same 25 to 45 age group, Tesla identified 54 million Americans over 65 who control $15 trillion in wealth and desperately need reliable, easy-to-use transportation. This isn't charity. This is calculated domination of a market segment competitors completely ignored. But here's the genius part. The technology they're using was never meant for seniors in the first place. Inside Giga Texas right now, Hundreds of cyber cabs are rolling off production lines that look nothing like traditional car manufacturing. Instead of vehicles moving down a single assembly line for 14 hours, Tesla built modular zones where bright yellow robots work in parallel. Chassis here, suspension there, body panels and interior simultaneously in different areas. The result? Assembly time cut to just under 7 hours per unit. That's a $6,000 cost reduction per vehicle, and Tesla is applying this exact system to the Model 2. Think about what this means. While Nissan struggles to keep the Leaf competitive at $28,000, Tesla can undercut them by $6,000 and still maintain better profit margins. The modular approach also slashes wiring-related service visits by 35% compared to conventional EVs, Fewer connections mean fewer failure points. For seniors who want reliability without constant maintenance trips, this is revolutionary. But is this technology proven enough for mass production by 2026? Or is Tesla overpromising again? Now, let's get specific about what makes this car different. Door openings measure 80 centimeters wide. That's roughly 15 to 20 centimeters wider than a standard compact EV. Step-in height drops to 42 centimeters, compared to 48 to 52 centimeters on most competitors. Why does this matter? Try getting in and out of a low-slung vehicle 50 times a week when you're 70 with arthritis. These aren't luxury features. They're necessities that Detroit forgot existed. The seats tell an even better story. Dual-density memory foam with 14-way electronic adjustment and adjustable lumbar support. Tesla studied ergonomic data showing that drivers over 65 need more precise positioning to avoid back strain during longer drives. The windshield stretches 1.22 meters across, providing panoramic visibility that rivals sedans twice the size. Side mirrors integrate digital blind spot detection calibrated specifically for slower reaction times. Not the reaction times of distracted teenagers, the physiological reality of aging drivers who process visual information 12 to 18% slower than they did at 30. Here's where it gets controversial. Is Tesla quietly admitting that full self-driving isn't ready? So they're building in redundant safety systems for the demographic most vulnerable to accidents? The FSD stack in the Model 2 operates fundamentally differently than Model 3 or Y. 
Lane centering maintains a tolerance of plus or minus 3 centimeters, tighter than most humans can achieve manually. Adaptive cruise control holds a 60-meter following distance at highway speeds up to 130 kilometers per hour. That's almost double what aggressive sport mode offers on other Teslas. Automatic emergency braking now detects obstacles as small as 20 centimeters tall, and pedestrian detection works effectively at ranges up to 50 meters. Translation Tesla tuned this system for predictability over performance. No sudden lane changes. No aggressive acceleration. The car operates like a cautious driver, not a race car. Regenerative braking is capped between 0.15 and 0.25 GE deceleration, recovering up to 15 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers without that stomach-dropping feeling that scares older passengers. This raises a fascinating question. If Tesla can make autopilot this smooth and predictable, why don't they offer it on all models? Is it because younger buyers actually prefer the aggressive feel? The powertrain specs reveal Tesla's real innovation. A dual-motor all-wheel drive setup delivers 180 kilowatts peak power and 320 newton meters of torque. Zero to 100 kilometers per hour in 6.5 seconds. Faster than a Nissan Leaf's 7.4 seconds, but gentler than Model 3's performance variants. The 55 kilowatt hour battery provides approximately 410 kilometers of real world urban range. Not fantasy EPA numbers. Not optimistic summer conditions. Actual usable range. Here's what competitors won't tell you. The Model 2 battery is engineered for consistent voltage output and predictable discharge curves using lessons from Tesla's aluminum ion research and next-gen lithium-ion cells. The battery management system monitors thermal performance with 0.1 degrees Celsius resolution, preventing the capacity degradation that kills older EVs after irregular charging patterns. Most seniors don't drive daily. They charge sporadically. This system compensates for that behavior. V4 Superchargers can add 200 kilometers of range in 20 minutes. Home charging via level 2 wall connector takes 6.5 hours for a full charge overnight. But here's the twist nobody's discussing. Tesla is building this charging infrastructure knowing that seniors are the most likely demographic to own homes with garages. They're not targeting apartment-dwelling city dwellers. They're targeting suburban and rural America where charging infrastructure is still terrible. Is this Tesla's stealth move to finally crack the heartland market? Step inside and the cabin offers 2.5 cubic meters of interior volume, more shoulder and leg room than a Chevrolet Bolt's 2.3 cubic meters. That extra space matters when you're 6 feet 2 inches with knee problems or need room for a walker in the back seat. The 12-inch portrait touchscreen includes a senior mode that enlarges fonts by 50% and simplifies menus to prioritize navigation and driving status over entertainment apps. Response latency drops to 45 milliseconds. You touch the screen. It responds instantly. No lag, no frustration. Voice commands handle over 250 functions. Adjust climate initiate calls, change navigation, keeping hands on the wheel, five storage compartments in the center console, wireless charging tray for devices up to 180 millimeters, door pockets fitting one liter bottles. Small details that luxury brands charge thousands extra for. Climate control operates with dual zone automatic regulation and airflow calibrated between 0.2 and 0.35 meters per second. Stable temperature without uncomfortable drafts. The cabin maintains 62 decibels at highway speeds versus Volkswagen ID.4's 66 decibels. That 4 decibel difference is the acoustic equivalent of removing constant background noise that causes fatigue on long drives. 
Real-time driver attention tracking alerts you if eye closure exceeds 2 seconds or head orientation deviates beyond 30 degrees for more than 5 seconds. Integrated cameras cover all blind spots and predictive algorithms can preemptively adjust braking or steering in urban environments. Cabin sensors continuously monitor occupant posture and seatbelt tension, providing automated alerts if adjustments are needed. Over-the-air software updates improve battery efficiency, UI responsiveness, and safety algorithms without service center visits. Tesla estimates this reduces maintenance appointments by 20 to 25 percent. But here's the billion-dollar question. If Tesla can build all this technology into a $22,000 vehicle, what does that say about the profit margins on Model 3 and Model Y? Production starts in 2026, which means Tesla has roughly 18 months to scale this modular assembly process beyond CyberCab prototypes. Can they actually hit that 22000 to 24000 price point? Or will it creep up like Cybertruck did from 39900 to 60990 And if they succeed, what happens to the used car market when a brand new Tesla with 410 kilometers range costs less than a three-year-old Nissan Leaf? The competition should be terrified. GM, Ford, Volkswagen, they're all targeting the same premium EV segments, while Tesla is about to flood the market with affordable, reliable vehicles that make their offerings look overpriced and outdated. Which feature would make your daily driving easiest? The comfortable 14-way adjustable seats, the 80-centimeter door openings, or the predictive autopilot system? Drop your answer in the comments. And if you're thinking this sounds too good to be true, stick around because the conclusion might surprise you. So here's the truth nobody wants to admit. Tesla isn't targeting seniors out of kindness. They're executing the most ruthless market strategy in automotive history. While every competitor burns billions chasing the same young buyers, Tesla identified the wealthiest, most underserved demographic and built a vehicle that costs less than a used Camry. This is exactly why the $22,000 price point is so shocking. It's not about affordability. It's about market domination. And this is just the beginning. When Model 2 hits production in 2026, it won't just disrupt the budget EV segment. It'll rewrite the rules for who gets access to electric transportation. If Tesla can manufacture advanced EVs for $22,000 while competitors struggle at $35,000, what does that mean for the next five years? The real question is, will traditional automakers adapt fast enough? Or are we watching the beginning of their extinction event? Drop your prediction in the comments. Which legacy brand survives this and which one doesn't make it to 2030? This is Tech Revolution, where we break down the moves that change everything. For the latest on Tesla's production timeline and what happens when Model 2 actually launches, you know where to find us. The future of transportation just got a lot more interesting. $13,990. That's all Tesla's asking for the Model 2. And it just did something no compact car has ever done. A trunk that doubles from 15 to 30 cubic feet in 10 seconds. No electric motors, no battery drain, just mechanical panels sliding on precision rails, transforming your back seat into a cargo beast that puts SUVs to shame. Why didn't anyone think of this before? And what else is Tesla hiding at this price point? Let's dive right in. Here's what Tesla figured out that the entire auto industry missed. Compact cars don't need bigger bodies. They need smarter interiors. Those lightweight aluminum panels sliding on embedded rails? They're not just clever. They're tolerant.